channel. So today's video is going to be my top five nude lippies from the drugstore. I told you guys in my top 10 under 10 that I was going to start doing somewhat of a series on my channel about the top five lippies at the drugstore, but I wanted to break it all down into colors. So every video is going to be a different color. So this one is going to be the top five nudes. My next one will be like the top five pinks, reds, purples, you get it. So I'm really excited about today's video, especially because I absolutely love nude lippies. Like a lot of girls, they are my favorite lippies to wear and I just absolutely love them. Especially when I first started out wearing makeup, I used to try so many different nude lippies from the drugstore and all of them seemed to be terrible. It was so hard for me to find ones that were flattering and looked good on my skin tone and for some reason I just really struggled with nude lipsticks at the drugstore. So I'm really excited to show you guys my top five from the drugstore today and if you want to see them then just keep watching. So the first one is actually the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the NYX Extreme Lip Cream in the shade number 10 Natural. These extreme lip creams from NYX are really, really great. They last a really long time on your lips and they're some of the better liquid lippies from the drugstore in my opinion. I've tried other shades, but this is my absolute favorite nude shade. It's really, really flattering on a lot of different skin tones because it has quite a pink undertone. If you have a really deep complexion this might not be the best nude for you because it is pretty light but again it's not super super light where it's not gonna work for a lot of people if you have a really fair skin tone I highly recommend trying this out it would be a gorgeous gorgeous nude for anybody ranging from super super fair to medium skin tones the formula of these are really really comfortable they sit on the lips really nicely they dry pretty quickly but not super quickly like a full-on liquid lipstick Stick. I really really love these. I highly recommend all of them, but especially this shade if you're looking for a good nude. Okay, so next up we have a CoverGirl lipstick and it's in the shade number 256 Creme. This shade is really similar in color and tone to the last one I just had, but the finish is completely different. So that last NYX one was a matte finish. This one is definitely not a matte finish. It's more of a luster finish. These CoverGirl lipsticks are super, super comfortable feeling on the lips. They do last a pretty long time, especially with how creamy the formula is. I was surprised with how long they stay on the lips. Again, I have a few different shades from this line and I absolutely love these lipsticks. This one is my favorite nude from the line and it's definitely in my top five nude lippies from the drugstore. Okay, so next up we have a lipstick that's a little bit darker and a little bit more pink as well. This is Milani's lipstick in the shade number 26, Nude Cream. As you can see, I have a ton of Milani lipsticks. They're my favorite lipstick formula ever and this is definitely my most used Milani lipstick. There was a hot minute there that I was absolutely obsessed with this. It was my go-to nude and I wore it all the time. I really really love the undertones in it. I think it's really flattering and I think it would be gorgeous on so many different skin tones. If you're fair skinned this is a really nice everyday nude because it's nothing that's gonna wash you out and it's nothing that's dark either. It's a really natural everyday color. It's got little hints of pink undertones in it. I just think it's absolutely beautiful for an everyday lippy. And also if you have a deeper skin tone, this is going to be a gorgeous light nude on you. Oh, I just think this lipstick would be gorgeous with a deep complexion, a bomb smoky eye, and this light nude lippy. It would be so pretty. So I personally think this would be a great lipstick for anybody as far as an everyday nude goes. So unfortunately, this next one isn't for those of you with deeper skin tones, but it's actually my favorite one out of all of these for my skin tone. This is Wet n Wild's Fergie Daily Lipstick. You guys have probably heard me talk about this on my channel or on my Instagram. This is the number one lipstick that I get questions about when I'm wearing it. I get compliments when I'm wearing it. And not to sound stupid white girl, but I seriously get so many likes on Instagram photos when I'm wearing this. 
I just think it complements my skin tone really well, so I highly recommend this stuff for anybody from fair to medium skin tones. Also, really quickly, I wanted to talk about the formula of this. I've tried other Wet n Wild formulas, but this one is definitely better. I don't know if it was because it was with Fergie, but I absolutely love the formula of this. It's so creamy, and it's like the easiest lipstick to apply ever. I don't know what it is, but I'm getting really particular with using lip liners. But when it comes to this stuff, it's so easy to apply and get your lip line. Like it's literally so easy. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I love it so much because I can just throw this in my bag and it's a nude that I can apply pretty easily. The only thing I don't love about it is the packaging. I mean, it gets really dingy and gross looking. All of the writing has come off. And also the cap when this lipstick is new, it comes like this. So when you're putting on the cap, you have to like be really careful. So I don't love the packaging of this lipstick, but literally everything else I absolutely adore about it. It's my favorite lipstick literally of all time. I'm saying it. I am. It's my favorite. <laughs> Okay, please excuse the application of this one. I guess that's what happens when you put on five lippies in a row. I had to show you guys a dark nude for my last one. This is actually Revlon's Color Burst Matte Balm Lip Stain in the shade number 225, Sultry. I said that weird, 22, I meant 225. So this is such a stunning dark nude. I still consider this a nude. Uh, I guess it could be like a berry shade or like whatever but I still consider this a nude because it's going to be a really great nude for those of you who have deeper skin tones and I still consider this a nude lipstick like when I put a color like this or Lolita on by Kat Von D it's a nude like I call it a nude I want to put that nude on it's a nude this does have quite a bit of berry undertones that's the real only difference I see between this and Lolita by Kat Von D is that it has more of a berry undertone but they are really really similar and especially Actually, for the price difference, this is really great. Also, with the formula of these, I love the Revlon Color Burst Lip Balm things. I love their matte, their luster, their normal original ones they had. I love all of them. All of the formulas are great. They last on your lips so long. Especially the matte ones, they last a really long time, and I absolutely love all the colors that they have. This is hands down my favorite one, especially my favorite nude. Um, and if you haven't checked it out, you totally should. Okay, guys. So that's it for my top five nude lippies at the drugstore. I would really love it if you would hop down to the comment section and type in what top five lippies you want me to talk about next. Whether it's pinks, purples, reds, whatever. I just want to know what you guys want to see next. So I really hope you guys are excited for this little mini series I have going on on my channel. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited for the series and you liked today's video. And I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!